result for the Netherlands in the women's 4x4. When we went to the break, we told you they are through. They are not. They've been disqualified for this. And here's why. The baton has to be passed from the outgoing runner's hand into the incoming runner's hand. So this, in essence, was just dropped on the ground, and then the outgoing runner picked it up. That is against the rules. The Netherlands are out. Before we even got to that, I was going to ask you, we ran out of time before we went to the break, I was going to ask you about obstructing France. Yeah. Might uh, have been a case for that, too. Yeah. And anyway, France is Doesn't through. matter now. France is through. France is yeah. in. Yeah. Netherlands are out. Some for Femme Cabot, who had that phenomenal anchor leg. Here we are for Heat 2, and this is Team Jamaica. In 2015, outside, they won in 2015, and outside of Team USA, only Jamaica has won this event since 2005. Jamaica also won bronze in 2019, and at the Tokyo Olympics, handling their first leg, that was Stacey Ann Williams of the University of Texas. Inside, Jamaica is Paul. Poland starting in lane seven. And boy, are they tired of seeing the back of the U.S. Silver to the U.S. in Tokyo at the Olympics. Silver at the World Championships behind the U.S. The surprise for me was that they didn't do better in the mixed four by four. I yes. thought they would be on the podium. They were fourth. All right, Son, let's take a closer look at Canada. Canada starts in lane six. They finished fourth in this event in Tokyo, missing the podium by just six tenths of a second behind Jamaica. Canada has finished fourth twice at Worlds in 1983 and 1987 but has never reached the podium. They were DQ'd in 2019 due to a lane infringement. So they're looking to make a final and hopefully a podium. But like you said, with Poland, of course, Team Jamaica, USA, and just so many great teams, it's, it's you know, it's a challenge. And that's the kind of team they're going to have to get past. You have to knock off Poland, I think, or Jamaica if you're going to have a chance at the podium. Canada for the first time. Who else is in this? Norway starts in lane one, Belgium in two, Spain three and the Italians in lane four. Bahamas was meant to be in here. They were a late scratch. Second heat of the women's four by 400 meter relay. Top three nations go through. And that's Jamaica out in lane eight. And I talk about this all the time. The challenge for the first leg on the four by four is that the stagger is a lot wider than it is in the individual 400 because the second leg also has to run in lane until they break on the back stretch. And so you cannot get lured into trying to run down the person in front of you too quickly, or you're really going to fade in the final hundred of the race. So Stacey Ann Williams of Jamaica having nobody in front of her could be a benefit or it could be a challenge. You see Poland's first leg doing a great job of catching that stagger on Team Jamaica. That's Fenty Ersetich of Poland handling the dog first, and they are. Jamaica hands off just at the same time as Poland. And Pretty level there between Italy and the Canadians as well, right in the center of your track. So they'll go around this turn, and then they will cut for the inside. So Jamaica, then Poland, and then we'll see what Canada has. Belgium's doing not a bad job with Inca Vivayet on the right on the rail there, trying to stay in touch with the Italians and Canadians. This is Bromfield for Jamaica, and Bumgard Witten for Poland. Is running Stavern on second leg. Janelle did a great job there for Team U for Team Jamaica. She ran the first 200 so aggressively and got away from the field and is still able to hold on. This is what you want your second leg to do. Folarunso of Italy with a terrific second leg. So standing by is Troiani. Troiani's got the stick for Italy and away she goes. First three in each heat will qualify automatically. Everybody else is trying on time as Jamaica now has opened up a and that's Tiffany James for Jamaica. And all she has to do now is run controlled. When you have this kind of lead, you don't have to hammer the first 200. You can run within yourself and then make sure in the final 100, you are giving it everything you have because that allows your anchor leg to extend the lead and makes it impossible for anyone to catch you. You see on the left, that's a 22 meter lead for Jamaica off of, over Poland and the rest of this field. Here comes Kyle. Constantine for Canada, pressuring Poland. She went by Troiani of Italy, and now Canada is into a clear second space with one more lap to go. Constantine ran a great leg, and now the Canadian anchor McDonald takes over. Cherokee Young of Jamaica, who competed in the Open 400, ran well there. 
This is what you want when you're standing at the anchor. You're hoping that your team will give you this kind of cushion, and all you have to do is hold it. So they're now on their way to the final second spot there for Canada. Who will finish in third? That's going to be where the fight will be for that automatic qualification. Sure will. Between Poland, Belgium, and Italy. It's getting super tight. Look at it. Three vying for one spot. So we know Jamaica's going to be in. Canada is safe for now. Look at the fight for the last spot. Mangione on the rail up the inside. So Jamaica wins and wins easily. Second is Canada. But what about that third spot? Third spot went to Belgium. Belgium got in there. Belgium, Canada. Belgium were fifth at the last world championship that was their best ever finish and they made the final in tokyo they made the final um, you gotta finish strong as the anchor leg you gotta have something in your legs in the final 100 meters and that is exactly what she did and that is how she was able to secure that spot team jamaica ran really really well had a great first leg their second leg was the one who really separated and opened up this race for jamaica and they were able to really cruise on through in the third and fourth leg belgium they're celebrating as well as canada i told you these are fun moments when you get to be with your teammates you're competing against each other all season long and then now you really value their contribution and how great they are and able to come together and represent your country i think paul and i might be scratching their head a little bit they were in such a strong position and Poland went from second to fifth. So right now it looks like Italy and Switzerland will get in on time and they are the only ones that will get in on time and that means Poland is out. Yikes, they were there. Look. Yeah. So they disappointed in the mixed four by four and then somehow in an event in which they are Olympic silver medalists and world silver medalists, no Poland in the final. But what they did, guys, they front-loaded their team. They put Sventi, Ersetic, and Baumgart Witten on the first two legs and hoped that their third and fourth legs could hold the lead. They could not, and that's why Poland's out. And Sventi Ersetic usually runs anchor. That's right. Yeah. So look at the big lead, though, for Cherokee Young coming home. That's a big gap between her and Canada. Canada would eventually fade to third, but of course, top three automatically through. Look at this, look at this grouping Ooh. here. Look at this grouping here. Canada only just made it. Hey guys, I, I just had a thought. Do you think that Jamaica might put Sharika Jackson in the 4x4? There's no question they're putting Sharika Jackson in the 4x4. So Sharika why Jackson, they? Why, I mean, you're right, you're in the 4x1 today, you put her on the mix, you put Stephanie Ann McPherson in the mix. Team Jamaica's gonna have a great Team. The way they just ran this preliminary heat, right. you add Sharika and Stephanie and McPherson, they're going to have a really good go at it. Team USA is going to have to pick their best four. And what do you think Miss 21-4 is going to run now for she 400 can run 47 meters. seconds yeah, she might. on a she split. Might see. Ooh, I, I cannot wait for that. <laughs> the minds are working. <laughs> <laughs> the mental gears are grinding up here. Meanwhile, just a few moments ago, Lewis Johnson caught up with Team USA. Let's have a listen. Well, Jalitha, what did it mean for you to have the opportunity to lead this off with such a strong leg and then hand it to Allison? Yeah, you know, I just wanted to set the tone for these great ladies over here, you know. This is a super special relay, a lot of special girls, so I just wanted to go out, set the tone, and do my best. Middle of retirement, I had a hot wing in one hand, and I got a call that needed some help in the prelims, so, you know, team player, and I'm, here I am. Alrighty. Would you be available for the finals, should they select you as well? If they needed me, but I think, you know, we want to give those girls from the hurdles last night a break and I think they're good. Okay, very good. Kayla, what was it like to circle the track and hear the roar of this crowd here in the United States? Oh, it's been amazing. You know, I've been here all week, being here cheering my teammates on and, you know, to finally be able to get, get on that track and compete, it's the best feeling in the world. I got to do it with a bunch of good ladies, so. And Jade, how, what, what's the feeling like coming up the home straightaway, holding the lead to make sure that you guys qualify in first? It's exciting. I mean, we have three other very strong girls, so they put their heart out there. I wanted to bring it home for us, so. It was awesome to be in this home crowd. All right, ladies, thank you. Congratulations. Allison, you might not be back, and you're not sure. One more time. As far as I know, I'm not going to be back, but who knows? <laughs> Maybe a cheat meal in the stands. We'll see what happens. Thank you all. <laughs> so, advancing 